it's been a while since we've talked about Game Farm and this time they are doing something that I don't think we have ever seen them do before. So this is another one for the list of achievements. Can we say that? No, we probably really cannot say that. Everything that Game Farm seems to be doing every time we talk about them, it's always very negative because this time allegedly Game Farm just DMCA'd two massive anime games on Roblox. If you don't know what that means, basically they took the games down and with it being DMCA, I really don't think that there is any possibility that these games will go back up and the only reason they have done this, suddenly now our of nowhere, even though these games have existed for literally years, is because GameFam has just released an official anime game with a, a specific anime and I guess they wanted more players on their game. So to me, it kind of seems like they just took down the most popular anime games on the entire platform purely for the reason that they now have an official anime game and I have no idea like why they didn't have a problem with it previously, but they now suddenly have a problem with these games so much to a point where where they DMCA'd both of them, took them down, they are now private, even right now. You cannot play them, they aren't open, they're private, everyone's questioning where they went or why they can't play anymore. And now it seems that GameFam is working with Roblox because when you search anime, GamesFam new official My Hero Academia game appears first, despite only having six players and a 37% rating. Not cool if true. That's insane. So basically right now, if you search anime on Roblox, Roblox, the new official My Hero Academia game created by GameFam will appear first, as in it's the first result when you search the word anime. You don't even need to search anything else. The only like correlation that they have is that My Hero Academia has an anime. It is an anime. The game itself isn't really anime. It's kind of just a Roblox game that GameFam has created. It's official, but right now, as I am making this video, it has seven people playing it and the rating is horrific. 57 thumbs up and 295 thumbs down and that is even when the game is paid access. So all like 300 people that have downvoted this game had to pay 99 robux just to be able to play it in the first place. So it's not like random people are coming over here playing the game and then thumbs downing just because they don't like game fam. Like people had to buy access to this game in order to play it, in order to rate it. So it's not like they're just dislike bombing the game. They are are genuinely buying access to it, playing it, and then deciding that they don't like it, and also deciding that it's Game Fam, so they also don't like it for that, I guess. But the games that were taken down by Game Fam were Anime Adventures, and this one had almost two billion visits. Not million, it was billion, so a B, not an M, two billion. Billion. It was created two years ago, updated an hour prior to being taken down and right now it's still private at the time I'm making this video. I don't really know what the game was about but obviously it was about anime and everyone on the group wall currently is asking where the game went. Is it down because of the Christmas event or anniversary event? People think that it's currently down because they're about to release a new event for Christmas or something or they are trying to update the game. But the truth is and the only truth is that the game was taken taken down specifically by GameFam because I guess they have now an official anime game. And the second game in the second screenshot is Anime Fighting Simulator X. I've seen this one around. I've also never played this one, but again, these probably were the top two anime games on the platform. So interesting to me that there is a bunch of anime games like that exist on Roblox. They have existed for a very long time. They continue to exist now, but it was only these two that were taken down by, by GameFam. Plenty of the other anime games could have probably been taken down by GameFam as well, but they didn't. Only, only the ones with two billion visits. That's quite a coincidence and probably very convenient for GameFam, I would say. But the game created by GameFam is My Hero Academia Battleground Paid Beta. It's 99 Robux and it's been out I think for four days now and despite taking down the two most popular anime games and making it so that your game appears first when you search anime they still only have less than 2,000 visits so either no one is playing this or they don't want to buy access to it or they just do not like game fam so they're just not even gonna try it or give it a chance or anything like that even if they like My Hero Academia which I mean I kind of do probably just not worth trying it and also for some reason with this being an official game 
as in the people behind My Hero Academia and Crunchyroll and all of that, they were the ones that like partnered up with Roblox and GameFam in order to have this be on Roblox. You would think that they want everyone possible to play the game. They would want everyone in this game, but not only did they make it paid access, but for some reason, it seems like half of the entire world is just not available to be playing this game, including the country that created My Hero Academia. It's probably my favorite part about this entire thing. Like going through the list of countries where the game is not available, right there in the middle is Japan, which if you don't know, once again, this is an anime. It was created in Japan by Japan. It, why can they not play the game? Also for the, for the rest of the countries, why can they also not play the game? This list like half of the world. Also interesting, just hours after posting the original tweet about Game Fam taking down the games, their new My Hero Academia game no longer appears when searching anime. So I guess they saw that tweet, they realized that everyone figured out what was going on and they just stopped doing that or allowing that. Yeah, just to confirm it for myself, I went and searched anime right now and there is, like I said, a bunch of different anime games on the entire platform, but the, the game from My Hero Academia game is still gone. It's not anywhere on this entire page. It's not first, it's also not on the rest of them. So I would say that they definitely saw that tweet, they saw everyone talking about it and saw that we all realized what was going on and now it's it's stopped. But the games that they took down are still not up. I don't know if they will ever go back up. I don't know if that's possible. The, the people behind the games are probably working on it right now to try and see what they can do. Cause to lose that much out of absolutely nowhere with no prior warning, just because GameFam decided they wanted to create an official game seems kind of ridiculous. So please, the comments, a place to go. Tell me what you guys think about Game Fam taking down probably the biggest anime games on the entire platform. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.